And welcome back to the 800 meter final at the World Championships in Vancouver, BC. Here we have a few of the runners warming up. Uh, South African Thomas Mulangi showing a little <laughs> bit of hostility towards Great Britain's. Oh, that's just showmanship right there. And here we are in the introductions. This is Great Britain's Mark Favor. And uh, Thomas Mulangi with his classic ice cream paint job. A true favorite to win today. And finally, Canada. Oh, is that TJ? Paulie Yes. Mixing it up. And they're off. The starting of the race, Grit Britain takes an early lead with South Africa's Mulangi coming in the rear. Canada doesn't know that the race has started yet. S trailing in the back. And now we have the second second lap. A close pack here. We'll see what happens. 400 meters lap. remaining. To Mulangi still in the lead. Followed closely by the other two competitors in the race. Oh, in the final corner here. Long he's really opened up a lead. He knows he's won it. Oh, and the two two struggling behind him to keep up. In the final stretch here. A little uh, showmanship there with the uh, number one. And some physical. Oh, and a fist pump. Fist pump. And a second place finish by oh, they're, they're Mark Favor. Absolutely exhausted. And DJ Paul Oh, he's upset. He's a Donkey Kong slam. And what a fantastic race. We'll see you next time at the Olympics. Let's get weird. Let's get weird. Let's get weird. Woo! I just won the world championships. I feel like Jack from the Titanic. I'm on top of the world. Ah. 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 That was a laterally directed force on the forefoot with the ankle and plantar flexion common mechanism for the Jones Fracture injury. You should probably get that checked out by a doctor. Oh, room spinning. So wasted. Where's my doctor? Dr. Adrian, I need you. Good afternoon, Mr. Maloney. Hey, dog. Good to see you again. I see you're on crutches. What's going on? How you been? What's going on? I'm um, doing well. I uh, won my 800 meter race in the World Championships yesterday, which qualified me for the Olympics. Uh, unfortunately, last night, uh, celebrating with a couple of the boys and had a couple of drinky poos, and I uh, feel like I've injured my left foot, so I'm uh, really worried about that. All right. Okay. Well, uh, let's take a look at it. Take your sock socks off. Get up on the field. Yeah. Let's see what's going on. Sounds good. Alright, Tom, let's just get up on the table here. Take a look at him. Slip that in there. Great. Alright. So, what have you been feeling? Uh, I just have this like really sharp pain on the uh, outside of my foot. It's kind of like on halfway. The yeah, yeah, halfway up. Okay, and have you been able to put weight on it at all? Um, since the injury, I've had a really hard time putting any weight bearing on it. Alright, perfect. So, just tell me when it hurts more. Up okay. here is it okay? No, I don't feel anything. Yeah, yeah. Ow, ow, that. Right about there. I feel that in the middle. Alright, perfect. So I have kind of an idea of what it might be. Uh, let's get some imaging done and then we'll... Thanks for meeting me again. We have the results of your x-ray back. Uh, it turns out you do have a type 3 acute fracture in the 5th metatarsal of your foot. Um, it's 1.5 centimeters away from the tuberosity, which considered, is considered a Jones fracture. Um, I know your Olympics are about a year away, so we do have some treatment options for you. Uh, one treatment option is a conservative treatment. Put your foot in a boot for 6 to 8 weeks. Uh, it's just an immob immobilization treatment. You're off your foot, um, and that's basically where we let it heal on its own. Um, there is another option, though, which is exhausted by elite athletes. Um, we do a surgical procedure where we're going to insert a screw into your foot. Um, what's going to happen then is it will kind of force a reunion of the bone, and then 
it's shown in a, a random trial just recently that um, it's about a 50% decrease uh, time to return to activity. So in your case, I know you're wanting to be training again as soon as possible. We can get you into surgery and you, you, you could be back into uh, activity. Yeah, whatever gives me the best chance of uh, being able to uh, follow through with my Olympic aspirations. So if it means surgery, then I'm all for that. Absolutely. Okay, so we'll uh, get right on that. <laughs>